what's an example of active transport? Like the most common example. Yeah. <coughs> How many sodiums are going out? Two. Two. Or three out, no, two in. Three in or two out? Three out, and how many potassium? Okay. So this require this is primary active transport, right? Because ATP is directly involved in this process happening. Mm, yes. Okay. But an example of secondary active transport, it's transport that's indirectly related to this one, or indirectly involved with ATP. So an example is a, it's called a GLUT2 channel. And what it does, it has a binding spot for both sodium and for glucose. Oh, right yeah. here and right here. And in order for this to let those two molecules in, they both have to be bound at the same time. So sodium will bind, the glucose will bind, and then this will open up and let them in. Now, the reason it's secondary active transport is because the sodium, there wouldn't be a concentration of sodium out here wanting to come in without this pump without the primary active transport going on. So it pumps out sodium, which makes sodium want to come back in. So it's indirectly related to this. You see what I mean? Right. Okay. So then the glucose takes advantage pretty much and goes in with the sodium. And the glucose is coming in against its concentration gradient. It's going against. Yeah. Now the secondary would ATP be involved in that. In this? Yes. Nope. Doesn't have to be. Doesn't have to be. Because it's of, going. Yeah. Because it does the energy I think just the energy that it needs is received from sodium wanting to flow in with its concentration gradient. That gives it the energy it needs to pull Because glucose goes. Is go, wants to go out, but in this case it's going in. Right? Yeah, it's pulling it in against its concentration gradient. Is this the only way sodium gets into the cell? There could be others. Uh, there's, this is how what I know of. <coughs> well, I mean, there's like voltage-gated so sodium channels and ligand gates. Right. But besides action potential, this is all I know. Okay. There's probably like a million. <laughs> As far as you need to know, and just yeah, this is just an example. Okay. Okay. Anything else about secondary active transport? And it again requires no ATP. No ATP. Of, okay. Yeah, I mean indirectly it does, right? Yeah. Because it wouldn't happen if ATP wasn't used for primary. Yeah. But it doesn't use it right here.